Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This morning, we are headed to a winery called Tarasi. Tarasi, I don't know. We'll hear when we get on the bus. We are going on a tour that is put together by what's called MWR for Navy personnel or military personnel, really. It's kind of like a little service that they have for us that they put together like tours and trips and stuff like that. That's what our Saturday is gonna be. And you guys get to see. Let's go. One of the most important wineries that we have in uh, Campania region. The winery is called Antonio Caggiano. Caggiano is a very famous name in the world, not just in uh, Campania, not just in Italy. And it's the most famous for Taurasi. It's located in the town of Taurasi. That's the fragment of the original volcano, which is only one third of the original height of Mount Vesuvius. Is only 1,000 meters, 3,000 feet. Mount Vesuvio used to be 10,000 feet. So you easily understand now that we are driving on Mount Vesuvius. So oh, wow. this is Regina Viarium. Regina, sometimes brought by Christopher Columbus to Europe. So tobacco, tomatoes, potatoes, see all the American products, corn, they are all grown in this area. Cars were, you know, like boats here. That village in front of us is called Carlos Building here. Look, see the, the entrance. That's it. This was the entire village, like. Those lands actually are all Antonio Caggiano. This is already belonging to Antonio Caggiano. The beige building, look, front left. That means breakfast time. Mm -hmm. Because they, Italian from the south, 2, 3 p.m. is a regular lunch time. Okay? It's, it's totally different. Andiamo, let's go. I will show you soon, actually, the Antonio Scacciano. Antonio is an artist, too, huh? So we have arrived to the winery. Um, it's a little bright out here, but look at that magnificent background. So we're going to go inside. We're going to have some wine. Um, and then you know see well we're going to see the seller have the tour of the winery right see where they make the wine and then we're going to have the tasting and then after that we're going to do a nice lunch so look at this amazing view of italy oh my gosh we are in taraski taras tarasi tarasi sorry pronouncing it wrong but it's amazingly beautiful and this winery is so freaking pretty. There are two and two, right? That, that even if you are good at growing any kind of grape, you cannot take the plant from here and grow it here, same region. Because it won't be a young of Taurasi. Because the soil here has not the same composition. We don't need to explain this. Mm -hmm. How many people are waiting this or the step before that? Look. Take those colors. Mm -hmm. That's the beginning because the team actually is not English, it's French. Foliage. We don't we don't have it in Italian. You know how we say this? It's extremely difficult for us. Because we have a sentence. We say when the leaves are turning yellow into orange. I'll tell you something that you won't like, but that was actually and used to be for many centuries. Since we learned from China. You know mm. how we used to make pasta? Flour, water, mm. a stepping on. Mm. Huge massa, in Spanish, massa, massa. Mm. To mass, to knead the dough. Mm. <laughs> the, the machine was a, a main machine, if you were. Mm. And if I'm at 90 kilos, 90 kilos works you know, better on my feet. <laughs> This is not touristic. 
This is the real wine cellar. There's even a chapel. It's so nice. Mm. And the lamps as well. We have a wine press going all the way back to the 1700s, so at the moment, three century old. This one. Oh, wow. Giuseppe, that we ever met, is now responsible for the museum side. The best is to take a photo with no flash. The light passing through the great glass that they make reflecting on the wall. That's the word. And here we have uh, the Enoteca. As you notice, 94 is the first red wine they produced. Because the 90 they planted, 94, the wine was ready. U15-2002. During the fermentation. Mm. Uh, the skin, the debris, the muck, uh, the alcoholic part. So you cannot keep Lower on those containers, mainly now they are almost empty unless they are spending 12 months in the still containers. 19 at 8 30 pm, which means the same day of the harvest. They don't wait for the grape to start the vinification, the fermentation, abandoning the corner. They keep on working, they are killed by the grape. It's clear the way it works. <laughs> this wine is good to become Falangina IGT Campania 2019. That's a birth certificate. It's mandatory. You know, the IGT, which is another denomination, but they will be controlling all the DOC, DOCG, denomination of origin, control, and control and guarantee. Boys, okay? Mm. Only, only girls, <laughs> only women. It's a lucky lover. <laughs> we, <laughs> you are a happy man. You go with all of those girls. I think. <laughs> <laughs> he cannot hug us because it's social distancing. <laughs> he feels really, really bad. <laughs> ah, show your faces Can you understand this? Women are works of art. The face is extremely important. Thank you. I love you. Yeah. <laughs> Make it out the way. So Besha is 100% Fiano grape. So it is one of the wines to be made in Greece. Because I, I, I need food. That's the only food I was able to convince them, which are tiny, micro tiny little presents. I would like actually with you, and this is very chilly, if you do like this, look, I haven't done it yet. If you rotate your cup and you wait, first of all, you see that the wine has marked a line, the age. 
and see how long it takes to create what you call, we don't say that, legs in your caps. And how tight the legs are. That's the glycerin. We don't say legs in the cup. We are in a Roman Catholic country. <laughs> we call them, like in Spain even, in Spain they say tears, lacrimas. In Italy we say arches. We don't say le gambe. Wow, we have legs in our cup. It's forbidden. Yeah. Really, I'm not teasing you. In a Roman Catholic country with so many taboos, to say that we have legs in our glass is a problem. Mamma mia, they might be actually done in wine. See? It takes time and time. Like bananas. But I think it's very good because even if we don't have any kind of tropical fruits all around here, the flavor that is a chemical natural reaction. Comunque pure la palatina. Eh, Romano. Palatina. Oh, yeah, yeah. Then at the end you eat right, right, right. it. It's unbelievable. Because not only you have the banana, the tropical fruit, but the yellow peach. Mm. Yeah. Mm. No. Which means if you eat this one plus eat you this one, you have this flavor. Uh, That's a chemical sure. reaction. Yeah. It's exactly for the right. wine. So if you wait a few years, the wine gives you a different flavor. Yes. Like the artificial flavors are like three. Oh. Oh. Let me tell you how much it costs. It costs 50 euros, but they only have a four or five left. That's it. Oh. Oh. That one is more orangish. Look, he's trying to go get that bottle. See. No, no, I forgot about it. South Carolina, I kind of Oh yeah, 2003. This is like Sherry. <laughs> Ooh, they all went to go get bottles. <laughs> I'll tell you more. I mean, not all the wineries. I guess I'm never going to live this down with this drinking of this glass of wine, Lord Jesus. You're following you. I have no idea. <laughs> we don't know where we're going. We're looking for a restaurant because we have lunch. Nobody knows where we're going. This is about to be really fun. Okay, so the mystery is figured out. We know where we're eating at. It is here. And the view is amazing. Look at this. It's like very Italian, I feel like. Do we go inside? It's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. It's freaking gorgeous. Oh. I can't even. This is like out of a dream. Wow. Wine going. Amazing well, lunch. This hill is a, <laughs> this hill now? No. <laughs> okay. The lunch. 
amazing. The wine, superb. The ambiance, the day, ah, dreamy. Now, when I first thought I was coming to Italy, or when I first found out I was coming to Italy, this was a part of Italy I expected. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. Always aspire to inspire. Love you guys, thanks for supporting me. And see you on the next one. Peace out.